Let's go! Guys, today we got an action-packed episode. We're going to talk about Bitcoin, Ethereum, and altcoins in general. But most importantly, you will not believe what this whale just did. So, as you all know, we've been following this whale. And as soon as he or she is making moves in the crypto markets, I am updating you. He sold the top. And today, you will not believe what he did. So, stick around for that. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Cristiano, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you're new to this channel, well, then make sure to subscribe and also activate the bell right now. All right, let's jump straight into the Bitcoin price before we talk about what this whale just did one of the biggest public whales we have in bitcoin so right now we actually if you remember my uh, falling wedge here we were talking about a while back and uh, you can see that uh, it looks like we are actually like bouncing off of the previous resistance here so this is acting as support on the way down here but if you adjust this a tiny bit like if you adjust this like that it seems like we actually did see another breakout out of the wedge so i mean this formation right here and the target from this wedge on the four hourly time frame would actually be all the way up here at the previous all-time high at sixty thousand dollars so this is something to definitely keep in mind but all in all i still stand by that I think that the $42,000 level, my orange box here and my red line is going to be significant resistance. And this is also what the charts are showing us right now, because look at this, we went into it once, actually we tried to uh, get into it right here, got rejected, went to into it once, did see a decent rejection to the downside, made another try, got a rejection. Now we will see if we are able to uh, make at least a higher, higher low here, so that is going to be uh, something bullish in that case. Let's say if we do see that rejection maybe go down here again and then, you know, continue to make uh, high, higher highs, lower highs, and then eventually break through this level. But I want to reiterate this because a lot of people are now, you know, telling their followers to get into a long position. I stand by that I do not believe that this is a good time to get into a long position until we have gone up and breached the $42,000 level, I would be cautious. Now remember, where we want to be, uh, I mean, long term, you already know my stance, long term, Bitcoin is going to absolutely crush it, but we want to be bullish in this vicinity when everyone else is bearish and we want to take profit as we're approaching key resistance. And then if we get above it, I mean, this little move, why are you going to risk? Let's say you jumped into the trade with me here down at, uh, at the $29,000. So in that case, you're sitting at 40%, like a 40% profit. If you're doing it on 10x leverage, that's 400%. Why would you risk that just for a tiny additional like 6%? No, I mean, from a risk reward standpoint, if you're doing a short term trade, I'm not talking about the Bitcoin that you hold and in which you are just going to ride for the entire market. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the trade. Why would you risk, you know, the entire trade for a tiny 6%? Well, you could just wait for it to get above this level and then, you know, meet resistance and then buy as we per, uh, confirm this as the support. And then we can make a new trade. And I am preparing for the next big trade right now, guys. So if you want to be around for that, well, make sure to subscribe and activate the bell. And also, of course, if you want to get up to a $1,200 bonus over on Femex, use this link. And if you want to get a bonus over on Bybit, well, then use this link. As always, I'm going to show you my trade. I'm going to show you my buy-in levels before I actually execute them. And you will be able to follow every single move here. But uh, before we wrap up the Bitcoin analysis, I want to show you this. So we are forming a bit of a formation like this as well. So... I mean, we're on the four hourly time frame right now. Let's see if we can make something of this. So a bit of a uh, rising wedge structure. Now a rising wedge is actually in itself a uh, bearish pattern. So it's a bearish pattern, but it can obviously break both to the up and to the downside. But I mean, I would not be surprised to see us, uh, you know, break this maybe to the downside, go down here to the blue level, and then, you know, maybe sideways and make another push towards the later parts uh, of, of July here or even into uh, the beginning of August but all in all I think that you know this level is key resistance and I think it is going to continue to be key resistance I think we're going to go sideways struggle with it for a bit longer but we are definitely going to break it eventually so that's my two cents let me know what you think down in the comment section so 
I need to show you this. So look at this whale. So if you don't know what this whale is, we have been following this whale for quite a while. And he has, I'm just going to refer to it as he, um, although we don't know the identity of this whale, but he has uh, $4.6 billion worth of Bitcoin. One of the biggest whales around. And uh, this guy sold the top. So when we went up to uh, the 60, $65,000 level, he sold. Also, before the big drops, he has been selling. And uh, if you remember, I actually covered this a uh, couple of days ago. I believe it was in this video when we were at like $34,000. And I said that uh, I think that we are going to go up to the orange line here at the close to the red line. And here we are probably going to see a rejection. And that uh, because we were looking at the whale address and I said that I think that he is going to do that this time as well. I think that the whale is going to take some profit as we're approaching the red line. Why did I believe that? Well, because that's exactly what the whale was doing the previous time, a month ago or two months ago, when we were approaching the red line here in June, because the whale took profit right here back then. And so I thought that this whale was going to do it again. Now, uh, actually, let me just jump into a snippet of that video right now so you can understand what I was referring to. So this is a snippet from this video right here. So I'm just going to play it and uh, then we can talk some more after that. Let's look at what this whale is doing. So this whale sold the top here at $65,000. Also, he sold 1,500 Bitcoin on the 16th of June, which was also at a local top. So the 16th of June was right here. So he sold once we got into my orange box and was approaching my red line. And I also told you that, yeah, we are probably going to go down from here because this is a very big Big resistance and the market was not looking too big or looking too bullish I should say so I thought that we were going to go down and the whale also sold uh, uh, 1,500 Bitcoin but since then he has been actually he or she has been accumulating more Bitcoin and he continues to accumulate here buying more and more in fact just a couple of days ago buying 222 Bitcoin so he or she is just averaging in and continuing to buy Bitcoin and continue to take profit at my you know resistance lines and I would bet that if we go up here to $42,000 the Bitcoin that this guy has been accumulating at these lower levels while some people have been selling the bottom this whale has been buying the bottom I think that it's most likely going to at least be some profit taking maybe 1,000 Bitcoin or so once we get up to $42,000 but that's just speculation from my end and uh, you know that's what I think is going to happen so now let's look at the latest move this whale has been doing well we can see that yesterday he sold 1500 bitcoin so what does that mean does that mean that i am now exposed that i am the whale maybe maybe not but one thing we do know is that uh, the whale is uh, also considering this a profit taking area for short-term trades remember he has you know 4.6 billion uh, bitcoin in this address so taking a little bit of profit every now and then not a bad move especially as he is also accumulating as we're getting down to the second lines down here. So if you want to get the update whenever this big whale is doing something else, make sure to subscribe and activate the bell. Let's quickly talk about Ethereum here, guys, because Ethereum is uh, right now stuck in this range. Next resistance is 2,400. Support is at 2,200. Nothing has changed here. But one thing that actually has changed is the Bitcoin dominance. So we've been talking about this big triangle on the Bitcoin dominance. This actually broke to the upside. So Bitcoin is outperforming altcoins right now. And this could actually go all the way up here now to uh, the 52% um, uh, range here for Bitcoin. Now, uh, I showed you this a couple of days ago. And uh, I was telling you that if this breaks to the downside, we are going to see a massive altcoin rally. So uh, now instead, I think that we can still have those massive altcoins gains. But maybe if we go up here, the Bitcoin dominance is going to be so strong. Remember, this can rise in both ways. This can rise by the altcoins, you know, going down and Bitcoin staying stagnant. It can also rise if both altcoins and Bitcoin goes up, but Bitcoin just goes up more. So you could still have gains in altcoins and Bitcoin. But then once we get up here, I think it's showtime for the altcoins. And then we are going to see some massive, massive altcoin gains again so uh, yeah what do you think about that let me know down in the comment section and thank you so much for watching guys 
I will see you in the next one.